the gizmo is what we're fishing today it's the gizmo evergreen custom soft plastic bait it's made by evergreen baits there's got ever or you can go to evergreenbaits.com and look at it um it's one and a half inches 44 millimeters long and it weighs three grams it's seven seven sixty four ounce it's three grams so yeah um this made out of a, this stuff is made out of a material is elastomer, which is pretty much elastic. So it should be really strong. But look at it, guys. It's super cool looking. It's like a little. This is the only color that they had that I could get. There's some other better colors. This is chartreuse, and this is blue black blue back chartreuse is what this is called. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do today? We're gonna throw this little gizmo around, see if we can't catch some fish. I'm definitely gonna be throwing this on a spinning reel. We're going to see if we can't hit some bass with this thing. Might have to get some more of these. We're going to see how it fishes. Uh, the company did not send me this. I bought this out of my own pocket. I just seen it on there. And I thought, hey, let's fish this and see what happens. Because I've had a, such a good time fishing the Spro. I mean, this thing, that's probably the only thing at the first complaint with this bait that I would have to say right off the bat without even fishing it. It's a little on the high end. I think I paid $11.50 for it. I feel like they would sell a lot more of these if they're about eight. I did kind of look online and stuff. I'd ordered other stuff off Tackle Warehouse, so I just threw it in the cart. I think I could have got it from discount for about eight dollars, eight fifty, which is a much better price for this. It was about eight bucks, definitely better price. Eleven dollars, eleven something, a little on the high end, but whatever. We're gonna fish it today. See what we can do with it. See if we can't catch some fish. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's jump into it. Let's go fishing. We're probably gonna get rained on. It's gonna be a hell of a day. Before I get started, I want to show y'all something I thought was funny. I was laughing to myself. There's logs that's been over here for probably half a decade or longer. I don't know how long they've been over here. And somebody drug them out to this campsite and tried to burn them. <laughs> like, who would do that? Like, those logs have been in water forever. At least six, seven. Who knows? They've been there as long as I can remember. So, I mean, look at that. Who drags them out and tries to burn them? Bet they had a hell of a time. Talk about being desperate for firewood. Be like, you're going to drag the wettest wood you ever could imagine and try to... <laughs> it's so stupid. i pop this booger open and give it, away. give it a whirl. It's nice packaging. It's nice packaging. I wish I could have got a little bit different color, but I have a feeling that this is the best color I could have got for what was available. It's that chartreuse blue. I wish I kind of wish I had a pen in here and put some little black marks on the bottom of this. They have bumblebees and all kinds of stuff. And that's kind of what it looks like, just a big old bee. Big old bee bug. And this stuff is made out of last. It's pretty much a last tech. It says what a last mirror or something like that. It's a type of a last tech, I do believe. Let's put my garbage in here. Let's get this thing tied up. It's got a little weed keeper. It's not very heavy lure. It's very light. Might throw it on another rod. See, I got another rod that I got over there that I haven't really talked about or done anything with. And I'm rigging that up for really light fishing. Like not for ultralight fishing, but like catching bass up here on a little bit. I need a little bit more power, but still keep my fun factor up. It's a light rod is what it is. Well, guys, so far, no good. So far, we ain't caught nothing yet. But we're going to keep fishing, keep seeing what we can do. It's not a bad lure. I think it has a time and a place. Uh, I think my color's a little off, but... I still believe we can catch some bass with it today. So we're going to keep fishing, keep going. At the end of this video or the end of the day, I'll talk about the lure, what I don't like about it, what I like about it, and that, and that kind of stuff like that. And I'm going to start making more videos like this, guys. But all right, guys, let's just keep fishing. See what we can do. There's one. See, we finally got something. I kind of thought as the day went on. It's a big old gill, though. <laughs> big old red breast. He just has happened to have a mouth big enough to take this thing. So, no bass, but a big, just a big old Mino red breast. Look at that guy. He's had a big enough mouth to, he's fat, chubby little beller. Let him go. See, that's kind of been the story of the day with this thing. I've had a lot of little gills, a lot of little fish, but it just isn't quite set up for little fish. But that red breast, he was able to 
take it. Panfish love it, but most of them can't eat it. Oh, dang. There he is. Big and too. What is that, a white bass or a largemouth? Oh, I'm gonna let off a little drag. It's gonna break me. It's a good fish. Is that a white bass, guys? This might be my first part for white bass. Oh, this is a good lot. Oh, no. No, I thought that was a white. That was a big, large mouth. All right, guys. As you can see, this thing is missing its weed keeper and its legs. And what happens is, guys, it attracts a lot of panfish. And it's such a big lure to be a panfish lure. No panfish can hook into it. I got one red breast on it all day. Now, I had good god i can't count how many bluegill and stuff hit this thing and i just missed them just because it's too big okay so what happens is is they pull this elastic down and then that weed keeper has a little hole right there that has to go back up and you can't get it back in so you have to cut it off so bow first thing you have to do is cut the weed keeper off as soon as it gets pulled down second is it gets annihilated by panfish so any aggressive panfish and stuff like that just tear it apart so they end up ripping all the legs off of it so you have no legs but up until just a minute ago, I did have back legs. I lost my front legs way early in the day. But the back legs, I just recently lost. That's one thing. So therefore, the thing that it attracts the most can't really eat it. And bass don't really seem to be into it. Now, granted, I will give the fact today that the bass don't seem to be that shallow. I'm not finding any bass shallow. And my color's a little off. This color's not the best color for the water I'm fishing. If I had a different color, I'd fish it again and maybe, you know, it'd work out. Then we get to the next part. It's, uh-oh, my thing's cutting off there. Okay, then we get to the next part. It's very light, so it's hard to really cast. And it, for, it, for it to be a bass lure, you got to have a bit of stealth. you got to be able to cast it pretty long. This thing requires such a light rod to cast it that you wouldn't have the backbone to get the fish back out if you caught one because it's mainly a bass lure. But it's not really designed very well for bass because it's too light. It's only three grams. And then we get to the last but not least part. And that is probably the biggest factor with this thing. The thing that hurts this lure the absolute most. It's $11. I paid $11 to almost $12 for this thing. It's just not worth it. Now, if you got a pack of these for $11 or four of them, two or three of them, yes. If you brought this thing down to about... The value of this thing is about six bucks. About five to six dollars is what you should be paying for this one single lure. It's durable. It lasts a long time. But then again, you lose your legs. So how durable is it? And after it loses its legs, it just looks like some weird thing in the water. It rolls a lot due to the front part and the thing sticking down so much. It's just, I have to say, it's not a very good lure. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for Gizmo Company or whatever. You know, they might hate me and send me a bunch of hateful messages, but does it catch fish? Yeah, you can catch fish with it. Is it a good value? No. Is it practical? No. Is there other better options? Yes. So that's pretty much it. We're not going to end the video here. I have missed a billion pan fish today, so I'm literally just going to go pan fishing. We're going to throw a little Bobby Garland around, and we're going to catch as many pan fish we can until it gets dark. We might even catch a bass because I need to catch something because I've literally been missing pan fish on that thing all day long. So, all right, guys, let's just keep going and let's do some pan fishing. The gizmo is a no-go. So that's a big thumbs down. Sorry, gizmo. See you later.